you are new. Today's video is going to be on schemas and it's mainly come about because of um, the questions that you've been asking me. Um, a couple of weeks ago I put on my Insta stories um, if anybody would like to ask any questions and there seemed to be a little bit of a pattern. <laughs> Um, I am a teacher by profession and so schemas are something that I was taught in my training and are something that as a teacher you are well aware of and use in your day-to-day -day planning. Um, but it dawned on me that actually lots of people don't know about these and um, it would really help a lot of you um, to have this kind of understanding of these developmental phases that your child will go through and it will help you in um, providing the right activities for them. So um, I thought I'd read out some of the questions and comments that people had sent me um, and you might um, see some comparisons and similarities with the way that you're thinking as well. So the first one says, I'm not sure what toy is right for his age. I put things out that are similar to the things I've seen other people do with children the same age, but all he does is throw them. He's just so naughty. All he wants to do is climb, run and throw. Another subscriber said, he seems to get frustrated with certain toys or has zero interest. Somebody else said, sometimes he doesn't play with a toy the way it's supposed to be played with. Should I be concerned? Another, my 13 month old daughter seems to easily abandon an activity. And another one, I don't know what to put out anymore. Things she used to like, she seems not interested in anymore. All she does is take the pieces and either brings them to me or I find them in little piles all around the house. She doesn't actually play with them the way they're supposed to be. So this is just a snapshot of the comments that people were sending to me and it kind of was representative of what many people were having frustrations with at home. Um, it's very easy to scroll through Instagram or scroll through Pinterest and see an activity and think, yes, um, my child's the same age, I can give them that activity. And then when you do, and your child has absolutely no interest in, one, it's frustrating for you because you've taken the time and effort to either buy the toy or make the DIY activity. Um, and also the child probably gets frustrated because it's not something that they are interested in at this time. Unfortunately, there is no rule book to say at 16 months, all children are gonna like this activity. But there is something called schemas that um, your child will naturally go through in order to develop. So that's what we're going to have a look at in this video. So what is a schema, you're probably asking? Well, schemas have been researched for many, many years and I'm just gonna very, very simply explain it. Um, I'll add some links in the description box below if you want to go and research it further or in more depth. But very simply, as parents, this is all we need to know. Schemas are repeated patterns of behavior that children will go through in order to learn and explore their environment. So. Right from birth, schemas your baby has probably, all, all our babies have been through are sucking and grasping. They repeat this behavior again and again and again until they master it and really, really understand it. And as they get older, the number of schemas increases in number and in complexity. So um, the developmental phases become more intricate and we continue to go through these phases even into adulthood. So the child that always wants to line up their toys very, very neatly. Later on in life, we've probably all been there where we want to make our desk really neat and everything has its certain place. That's just adding to that schema and making sure that we really understand it and it's just this natural urge and fascination that us humans have. So when we successfully understand schemas and we can pinpoint the schema that our child is going through, we will more successfully be able to match the activity to the schema and therefore be able to extend their learning and deepen their thinking. So that Instagram post of that amazing activity for the 16 month old that you've tried out and your child has no interest in, it's probably because those two 16 month olds are going through different schemas. One might be wanting to throw things and run and climb, so that would be a trajectory schema. And your child might want to move things from one place to another or carry things in their pockets or see how much things they can have um, within their hands, which is a transporting schema. So despite the fact that children are the same age, they might be going through different schemas. And that's why we often get frustrated that this activity that we've planned just isn't um, fulfilling the needs of our child. So how do you spot a schema? It's basically through observation. You need to watch your child. Um, 
If you have a look at my previous video, I will link it above now about observing children. Um, you'll see um, the ways that I spotted within a day um, the schema that Oscar was going through. He was actually in a containment schema. And then that impacted on my toy rotation. So I noticed that he was putting things in boxes, that he was trying to take things out of boxes, that he himself was trying to get in a box. Um, and all of these um, rang out to me that he was going through a containment schema. Containment meaning, you know, he's wanting to put contain different items and, and put things or himself in a container. Um, and then that helped me in my toy rotation for the week. I supplied him with lots of different activities and then different ways um, that he could contain things. So I got out a big box that he was able to put himself in. Um, and you'll see lots of different other activities that I was able to put out in my toy rotation. I'll link it above um, if you haven't seen it. So I'm going to go through now some of the major schemas um, that most children will go through within the early years, one to five year olds. Your child won't necessarily go through them all. They might not go through them um, at the same time. They might go through one and then there's a period where they're not really going through one and then they might be having two at the same time. So it's all about observing your child. It's so, so important. And then that will help you more successfully match activities to your child's interests and help to deepen their learning. So let's crack into some of the major schemas. So these are some of the things you might observe for the containment schema. Your child filling containers with water or sand. If your child is enjoying climbing into boxes, if they enjoy shape sorting activities, or if they want to put things in bags or boxes. For the enveloping schema, you might observe your child wrapping up toys in a scarf, covering themselves with fabrics, covering their paper or hands completely in paint or glue, or getting inside things or hiding. Have you observed your child hanging upside down or looking through their legs in some sort of yoga pose? Do they want to climb to get a better view of something? Or do they like being under things? If they are, they're probably in an orientation schema. Does your child put their toys in a nice orderly line? Do they sort or order toys by colour or shape? Do they have a dissatisfaction for their food being mixed up together and prefer everything to be separate? Or do they like to sit in a particular place? If they do, they're most likely going through their positioning schema. Have you noticed that your child has a real love of toys with wheels or spinning toys? Do they themselves like to spin and twirl around? Do they watch the washing machine when it's on its spin cycle and have a fascination with it? Or do they really enjoy drawing circles when you give them mark making activities? If they do, they're probably going through their rotational schema. Does your child throw or drop their toys or even their food when you give it to them? Do they like to push their toys in straight lines? Are they obsessed with climbing or jumping or running? Do they have a fascination with running water? Then if they do, they're most likely going through their trajectory schema. For the transformation schema, your child might be observed mixing all of the paint together into one nice brown colour. Do they really enjoy baking and mixing the ingredients? Have you caught them pouring their drink into their food? And do they really enjoy dressing up and transforming themselves? If they do, they're probably going through their transformation schema. The transporting schema is all about movement. Have you observed your child moving their toys? Really enjoying pushing a pram? Do they like to bring you things? Do they carry as many things as they possibly can all at once? And have you noticed them collecting things and putting them in their pockets or holding on to them? If you have, they're going through their transporting schema. And the last one we'll cover in this video is the connecting schema. Have you noticed that your child really enjoys building with Lego or Duplo? Do they like train tracks and puzzles? Do they like to tie things up or glue things together? Do they really enjoy building things and particularly demolishing them and then rebuilding? If they do, they're probably going through their connecting schema. 
So I really hope that has given you a better understanding of schemas and um, also of your child. So if we go back to those comments um, that I read to you at the beginning um, of the child who uh, didn't play with the toys as they were meant to be played with um, and just wanted to bring them to her mother or um, her mother found them around the house, clearly going through a transporting schema. So um, this is a great activity for a transporting schema where um, you've got cars that move and are being transported down a click-clack track. Um, but equally, there's nothing to say that these cars can't then also be moved around the room or brought to you. It doesn't necessarily mean that the toy's not being used as it's meant to be or your child you know, has an issue because they don't understand how the toy is meant to be played with. They are using whatever you're giving them and um, fulfilling their schema or natural urge to repeat behavior that supports it. Um, the child that um, was labeled as naughty, that's totally not uncommon. Um, the child that um, gets an activity and immediately throws it on the floor, of course, well that's naughty behavior, you've thrown the activity on the floor. But actually if we take a step back and observe the child, what are they doing? Well, they're clearly going through a trajectory schema, they're just wanting to throw or run or climb better to steer the child to activities that support their schema and their natural urges before we label them as naughty. Take that child out to climb on the playground or throw some balls and you'll notice that you know they're not naughty, they're now fulfilling their schema and they're very interested and engaged. Um, so I really hope this video has helped you to understand your child better. I'm actually gonna create a playlist as Oscar goes through the schemas I will create a little mini video for each one to show you different activities that you could supply your child with. It's just something that I feel like I would have loved um, and it's just really helpful than having to constantly go to the internet and find different activities. I'm just going to put it in all one place and turn this into a playlist. I hope that will be helpful for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to um, write any of your comments um, down below. I'd love to hear from you or your thoughts on this. And don't forget to go follow me on Instagram so that you can take part in these Q&As that I do and share your thoughts over there. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.